2022 Philadelphia Tango Festival will be kicking off this week. The four day celebration will include workshops, lectures and performances from women who are breaking barriers. That's right. Action News photojournalist Tom Kretschmer takes us inside the Philadelphia Argentine Tango School for an up close look at the dance that combines music, dance and poetry in motion. Is tango to me well obviously it's a dance but probably more than that tango is the community that I've chosen it's a really beautiful thing tango is a three-part art form it's a music a dance and also a poetry well, when you have a dance with somebody who's feeling the music like you and you're in this close embrace and they're just like every single little move you make they're just like part of you you know gives people skills to listen to one another, to work together, collaborate, to solve problems together. In tango, we dance through the mistakes and we try to make it seamless and we honor where we are, where our partner is and where we can go from there. So the way that we get to know one another on the dance floor with your partner, even if you've never met them before, um, is kind of like getting to know a stranger for the first time. You have to come into the moment and you have to really listen to another person. And I think many of us would say that as a species, we're getting bad at that. <laughs> the only dance that really incorporates an embrace like that, that's unrehearsed and like, just like concentrating on this song at this moment with this person, it's, it's very, it's magical. Bringing and, back memories. Well, I would say yes, my parents are from Argentina, but no, Walter doesn't Walter dance. Walter does not tango. In any way, shape or form. <laughs>